The 5G revolution demands unprecedented computing power and efficiency as network operators race to meet escalating performance requirements. Joining us today are Piert Weglicki from AMD and Wafa Shaker from HPE, who will share their insights on how their collaboration is reshaping 5G core deployments. Thank you both for being with us today. Wafa, I'll start with you. What are the key challenges that telecom operators face when deploying and managing 5G core networks? 5G telecom uh, operators face three main challenges. Scalability, uh, energy efficiency, and latency. Nowadays, 5G uh, connects more devices than ever. So networks has to scale rapidly to handle the unpredictable network and traffic loads, while latency is a major concern, energy efficiency is a critical factor. So operators have to handle and balance performance with sustainability as it. So also to add, you know, there are also the network operators need to add the automation tools and orchestration tools really to manage their networks effectively. AI technology is increasingly being deployed in this area. Plus, of course, you know, there is a security aspect that has been always a challenge for network operators and is increasing actually in the AI era. So, Piert, how do AMG EPIC processors address the specific performance and efficiency requirements of 5G telco core workloads? So, AMD brings unprecedented level of compute density. With our fifth generation EPIC CPUs, we bring 192 cores into one single device. So that enables really to scale the performance up. The other aspect is we bring also a simultaneous multi-threading technology, which allows actually flexibility to the telecom equipment manufacturers to give a better placement of workloads and make a much more efficient and performant uh, systems. The other aspect is energy efficiency with huge compute density we enable operators to have the highest performance with a reduced number of servers and reduced a maximum power. In addition, we also enable operators to use the power efficiency at the time that there are not busy hours when the traffic is down. Our performance management technology enables operators to reduce the power at that time. So in addition to what Piotr has added, so the variety of CPUs, which uh, comes with the, the fixed generation of AMD EPIC processors, starting from 8 core with 125 watts up to 160 core processor on our uh, platforms. Yes, uh, AMD supports up to 192, but on HP platforms, we support up to 160 core processor. This gives 5G uh, operators the, uh, the ability to choose from the huge amount of uh, huge, huge number of, of CPUs that can meet their uh, telco core workloads. Can you explain how the processors contribute to the performance of 5G packet core functions? Absolutely. And AMD EPIC microprocessors are ideally suited for 5G packet core. And the reason for that is some of the workloads, like for instance UPF, scale very nicely with the number of processor cores. Our telecom equipment manufacturers partners are bringing new technology right now based on the fifth generation EPIC processors up to 160 cores. So they, they show a really dramatic improvement in performance. So that's one aspect. The other aspect is we bring the simultaneous multi-threading, which allows up to 384 uh, virtual CPUs, which again adds to the performance as well. And finally, our I.O. performance is, is massive. We also support 128 lanes of PCI Gen 5, which gives a massive I.O. bandwidth to, to the operators. Adding to what has Piotr already said, the 128 lanes gives HPE customers telco telco customers, I mean, the availability to, to balance between NVMe drives on the front of the, the server, plus additional uh, I.O. network adapters that can handle uh, uh, 
massive amount of, of workloads from 1 gig, 10 gig, uh, 1025 and 100 gigabyte. So how does the DL345 provide an optimal platform for running telco core workloads? Uh, so the HPE uh, DL345, which we are standing in front of it, it is powered by AMD uh, fifth generation. The operators can choose from eight core processor with 125 watts up to 160 core processor. This uh, gives uh, 5G operators the capability to choose from a huge amount of, of CPU options. The, the server as well uh, is equipped with 12 DIMMs that support uh, up to three terabytes of memory uh, to allow the 5G operators to have faster data transfer on the 5G core network. The server is equipped with, uh, with six PCI slots X16, as well as two OCP 3.0. The, these uh, six PCI slots and the OCPs uh, are able to handle 10 uh, gig, 1025, 100 gig, and even uh, 200 gig uh, uh, network interface cards. This is very, very suitable for 5G core use cases. So just to add, we have mentioned about the ability to implement scalable solutions from eight core up to 160 cores. And of course, the power will be scaling accordingly as well. But there is also one more feature that is very important for the uh, operators. The fact that uh, AMD supports the configurable power, which means that the customer can decide whether they want to uh, prioritize power or performance, it could be the case that they will say, well, you know, I don't need to run the course up to 100% uh, and its power is more important for me. Therefore, they can configure in the BIOS an option that the processor will be running at a lower power. But it could be also a, a, the other case that customer will say, I really want to have every single ounce of performance out of this, this solution. And they will configure it to run at a higher TBP uh, than our default TBP. So what unique features of the DL345 make it particularly well suited for handling the demands of 5G core networks? The, this is a very good question because the DL345 uh, with AMD 5th generation CPUs is built from the ground with silicon root of trust with the advanced features from uh, the advanced security features from AMD uh, this adds uh, a lot of uh, benefits for 5G core customers with the uh, redundancy with the with the with the with the power supply redundancy with the with the high performance fans uh, with the full tolerant features that is built in this server allows 5G core customer, uh, allows 5G customers uh, to have uh, benefits uh, of, of using this server in the 5G core use cases. Especially the server comes with uh, three full factors, 24 SFF, 36 EDSFF, or uh, uh, 12 LFF. The server also supports uh, four single-wide GPUs or two double-wide GPUs. The server has, as I mentioned, six PCI slots and uh, two OCPs that can be used for 10, 25, and 100 gig uh, and 200 gig uh, network interface card. This is a great feature for 5G core customer that can be used for uh, UDM, UDR, PCF, and even charging uh, functions. I just wanted to add that we are thrilled about the level of collaboration that we've got with HPE. We've been winning very widely uh, at operators worldwide with our fourth generation Epic devices. And we are so excited to win much more business with the current generation as well. Thank you, Piotr. Adding uh, a last sentence, the server with AMD uh, fifth generation is really a, a, an efficient, uh, an energy efficient solution. Uh, the server uh, has been, uh, excuse me to show you this, but it has a world record from Intel, from uh, Spec Int, from Spec Int. It is a, an, an independent benchmark. So this is a, a, a good point to start with for 5G core use cases. Thank you.
Thank you both for sharing your insights.